We are here at the world's largest RV show in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is John DePietro along with Mr. Phil from Winnebago slash Itasca. You got your Itasca hat on I now, right? I do right now, John. And we're with John Lenzo from Colonial Itasca in Lakewood, New Jersey. That's correct. Right? So you came all the way across the border from New Jersey into Pennsylvania. And Phil, you, you're going to kind of show John the new uh, new availability of this product yeah. that we have right behind us, yeah, right? Yeah, we're kind of excited, not only uh, for on the retail side for some of our customers getting to see the very, the, for the, these products the very first time, some of our dealers are actually getting to see some of these floor plans for the very first time. So, so we kind of like have it exclusive here. I mean, this is John's first trip into this that, thing. That's correct. Well, let's. Right. Let, how about the exterior? Because it looks like it's a little bit different well, here. Well, I tell you what, what you're seeing here, John, is a, is a, if you recall last year on the on the uh, on the Rayo product, uh, we we offered exclusively full paint only. And what we've decided to do this year is we, we we're, we're letting our customers choose which way they want to go and and how they want to option that coach in. So we are offering a new a new feature this year and we are offering uh, paint and graphics as uh, standard equipment and we're offering full body paint as an option last ah, year okay. that was standard so you can get it a little bit different on the outside and as, as we go around you're going to also going to see we do have a new uh, we do have a new uh, feature that's available this year and that's uh, as you can see on that coach over there a little bit uh, oh the driver's, the driver's door, door. Uh, so so uh, those are two new features that we're offering in the coach this year that we didn't have last year. But this coach here is a brand new floor plan. We're excited to show it to you. In the past, uh, we, we either had the, uh, the double bed uh, uh, R model or we had the twin bed T model. This is a brand new Q model, the 25Q, and it offers a walk around queen in a 25 foot Oh, the foot Q, model. that's why the Q right. and the queen. You're, you're We're sharp, trying to figure out none. this industry. They have an H, a K, a J, and an, an L M N O P. Method to madness. Method to your madness. But well, John, why don't you take a walk you, in there? We'll, if you uh, think about it, there's not, uh, I can't think of any other manufacturers out there offering a 25 foot motorhome with a queen walk around bed in Well, so. let's see what it looks like. Here we go. What do you think, John? Is that going to work well, for you guys? I absolutely think that the walk-around bed uh, double slide is uh, going to be a good seller for us. Uh, we've done very well with the other two models. Now, we and should say, folks, John is from New Jersey, so we will have this translated. Yes, we will So that people this. from the rest of America can understand you all, right? Thank you. Y'all. <laughs> y'all. Uh, so yeah, so we're, we're let's go back here. Let's see what this looks like. And um, OK, so you got your slide. And now, Phil, we were talking height before. Right. You remember, can fit you remember, this thing, right? You remember we were in the full Class A earlier, and I was telling you I was 6'6". Six, six. I mean, yep. here you have my head's touching the top, but not too many guys are 6'6". Right, are, but you're pretty are, darn tall. 6'6 six, six here in a, in a, in a nice 25-foot uh, unit, uh, and I can I can stand up comfortably. Yeah, and that uh, you, it, it is a walk-around. Yep, it it's is, a walk-around, uh, so it looks like it's going to be easy to make the bed. Yep. And, uh, and that is an issue about making beds, right? No question about it. I think uh, it's going to complement the other two floor plans, and uh, we're looking forward to selling it. Okay, then you got your bath in here, full bath, all enclosed uh, in one, right? Uh, yeah, it has some of the same amenities that our other models yep. have. The, you, know, the, okay. you know, the curvature that we use to kind of bring uh, kind of a styling issue into here. Um, you've got the, the built-in uh, flat screen TV in the, in the wall there where you can slide that out when you're going right. down the road so the, so the passengers can see that uh, easily. Okay, well, that'll pop out because right. of the slide, right? right. slides that. Yep, yep, yep. You got the nice curved cabinetry idea here and uh, and again, uh, you know, this this will fold out into a bed as well. This uh, is on a 3500? Or the equivalent or a bigger, bigger... Uh, right, this is what we call a cowl chassis. It's on, a, it's on the big, uh, it's on the big uh, Mercedes chassis actually yeah. this year. Last year was branded as a as Dodge. a Dodge Sprinter, and this year it's, it's branded as a Mercedes chassis. One thing you will notice here, if you look and compare this to last year's unit, uh, we did have as standard equipment the pull-down bunk. Uh, oh, the pull-down bunk, yeah. The, right, the, uh, we called it a studio loft we, where it pulled down, and this year we are offering that as an option. Some customers were telling us that they would rather have the storage up front than the bunk. Uh, yeah. The people that are just using it as a two-person vehicle, uh, they didn't really necessarily want the bunk up there, so we did offer the nice uh, wrap around uh, uh, storage up front here and we, we were getting very positive uh, feedback and you can see here this is the interior shot of the the door what the driver's door looks like as well so that does add the the convenience is a more like an automotive type feature that, that you do into this coach so okay. John who is, who's buying this product uh, that you found and how does it compare with the Navion shopper well uh, we feel the um, the big class A people uh, that were buying the big class A's and want to downsize so we've been selling to that, 
and uh, it's very, very unique. It's a very unique product. There's not uh, it, 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 the maneuverability. Uh, being a diesel, obviously, at that price range is, yep. is, is very good. This will be the uh, second model year for this? That's correct. So what, what are you getting for feedback from your existing customer base on the ones you've moved? Well, we haven't heard. They're still on the road. Still, well, that's it's, always good. That's a good thing. No, that's they really, good. really are enjoying the product. Uh, the fuel economy, obviously, is very important in this day and age. Um, and the general layout, it's not a very, very big, bulky, unit. burdensome thing Burden, to get around. Right. And, uh, you know, that's, that's our market. It's, uh, and it's doing very well. Great. Guys, John from Colonial Itasca in Lakewood, New Jersey. That's right. And Phil from all the way from Forest City, gracing us in the great Northeast. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.